how ceramic fiber yarn produced. As the main heat insulation and sealing material in the field of high temperature industry in the past 30 years, ceramic fiber textiles are widely used as raw materials in the fields of steel, petroleum and electric power due to its advantages of low cost and good heat insulation. The quality of yarn is the most important. Ceramic yarn is not difficult to produce. First, we need to mix ceramic fibers and organic fibers. Organic fibers play the role of bonding here, otherwise the ceramic fibers cannot be entangled and spun into yarns by themselves. This is why the ceramic fiber textiles will have smoke or even flames in the early stage of use because of the smoke or flames produced by the burning of organic fibers. Secondly, we need to comb the mixed fibers so that most of them are in the same direction and become rough YR. N. At this time, in order to enhance the spinability of the rough yarn, glass filaments will be added when the yarn is formed. This will increase the strength of the yarn. However, the glass filaments added at this time have a temperature resistance of only 550 degrees, so the stainless steel wire must be added at the end. So as to ensure that the ceramic fiber cloth can work normally even if the glass filament is melted under a high temperature environment of 1000 degrees. The next step is the spinning process. The rough yarn with glass filaments will be twisted and wound on the spinning machine to form a single spun yarn. Single strand spun yarn has to go through the process of plying, combining spun yarns into two or even three strands. Ceramic fiber cloths, tapes and packings made of such yarns have better toughness and greater strength. Of this kind of spun yarn is the raw material that can be used to produce ceramic fiber textiles. However, this step has relatively high requirements for the spun yarn, such as excessive breakage, big belly yarn and big knots will affect the quality of the next weaving cloths product of. Therefore, different machines and processes and management level will directly affect the quay litty of the final textiles product. Generally speaking, ceramic fiber should be type 1260 so that the long-term use temperature of the product can be maintained at about 1050 degrees. If 1100 ceramic fiber is used as the raw material, although the price is lower, the long-term use temperature is only 900 degrees. There are three types used in ceramic fiber yarns, polyester, viscose, and polypropylene. In terms of price, viscose is the most expensive, polyester is the cheapest, and polypropylene is in the middle. Because products containing polyester will harden after high temperature treatment, viscose is generally used as organic fibers in the European market, while polypropylene is more commonly used in the US market. We usually use D-glass and C-glass as reinforcement. E-glass is alkali-free glass, C-glass is medium alkali glass. The temperature resistance of C-glass filaments is about 150 degrees lower than that of E-glass filaments, and the price is also cheaper. Error 4. If the ceramic fiber yarn is only glass fiber reinforced, then it is necessary to use E-glass fiber as the reinforcing yarn. There are also many kinds of metal wires, the most commonly used is SUS 30 for stainless steel wire. There are also models like SUS 310, SUS 316, inconal wire and so on. For the diameter of the metal wire, generally use yarns below 800 tex, with diameters of 0.1 mm and 0.1 mm. And for yarns above 800 tex, with a diameter of 0.15 mm is sufficient. If it is thicker, the ceramic fiber yarn will be harder, and its flexibility will be affected. If the yarn produced is for the workshop's own use, we usually make the yarn spool about 5 kg. But for the yarn sold to the European market and the American market, we will make the yarn spool to the standard of about 2.5 kg. Each carton contains 12 bobbins and each pallet contains 25 cartons. A standard 20-foot container can hold 7,500 KROGRAMS tilde a GHT 1000 kg yarn. There are four such traditional spinning machine production lines in our to workshops. Generally speaking, each production line can produce about 800 kg of 1000 takes yarn per day. Our production capacity 
can meet the needs of any short-term large orders.